today I'm going to show you how to make these cute miniature orchids and here are the materials that you need. So let's start by making the flowers. I already have a conditioned polymer clay and we want to make a gradient color of these two clay. So I'm just gonna put the yellow or the smaller yellow clay on top of the bigger white clay and then roll them over so they will stick together. And then fold the clay several times crosswise like so. And then press both ends with your fingers and also the sides. And then roll it on the table using your fingers. So do this um, motion several times. Take your rolling pin and then press and roll it crosswise. So remember, press and roll crosswise and not lengthwise. Do this action several times until you get the gradient color. So this is how it looks like after so many times of rolling and folding and pressing. And then next, we are going to reduce the size to something like this. And to do this, you're just gonna press the ends of clay of the clay with your thumb and your uh, index finger. And then you can also pull sideways a little bit, not too strong, just a little bit. So this is now the reduced cane. I don't know if you can see it well, but it has the smaller yellow and the bigger white part. So pinch the yellow part with your index finger and your thumb so it will resemble a petal. And then slice the cane thinly for the individual petal. And if you lose the shape of the petal, you can use your stylus to make it um, thinner and to shape it to the um, petal shape. Next, we are going to assemble our petals and this is how it would look like so you first want to uh, bring three petals together the yellow side would be um, inward and then you're going to put the two petals on top of the first layer and then you also need to fold the um, outer edge of the petal. And to make the labellum, you'll just need to take a small piece of clay and then roll it with your index finger and thumb. And then use your sculpting tool to shape it. And then simply add it on top of your flower. And you can also use liquid clay to make it stronger. And bake it once you are done. While waiting for the flowers to get cured, we can start making the leaves and for this one, I already have here a conditioned clay and what I'm going to do is to simply draw a, a leaf shape on the clay and I'm using this um, uh, felting tool. If you don't have this, you can use any tool that you have. You can even use a pen that doesn't work anymore. And then shape your leaves with the sculpting tools and then also draw a line in the middle of the leaves. Once you have all your leaves, do not bake it yet because we are going to put it uh, in the pot or the vase. 
and then next we are going to make the flower bud and for this one I am using a thin wire as a stem and also make sure that the vase that you are going to use can be baked in the oven so cut a small piece of the polymer clay and then roll it to a, a teardrop and then attach it to the wire you can do as many as you like but here I only made three of them and then stick the wire into your pot and by the way I am using another clay here on the bottom of the um, vase so that um, it will hold the clay and also I fill the uh, vase with aluminum foil so I don't have to use lots of extra clay and also to ensure that it's um, strong enough to hold everything I used a liquid clay around and then I covered the aluminum foil with brown clay and I didn't actually mix it I just um, cut it to resemble soil and then again I put another uh, liquid clay on top of the brown clay and then go ahead put your leaves and then bake them together so this is how the fully cured clay looks like and I just painted it using gr uh, dark green color so I painted the um, stem and also the sides of the leaves and then lastly I glued the flowers to the stem using hypo cement glue and here's the orchid that I made and also I made another um, orchids in a different color thank you for watching and hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and please don't forget to click subscribe and get notified for uh, new videos thank you and have a great day bye bye